Hi, it's Gwen Fox, and you know what? I'm really happy that you're here. The reason I'm happy is because I think we've become a family. I just, I recognize the names when you leave comments. I love your questions. And so today I wanted to say thank you, um, other than showing something else. But I do, I wanted to say thank you. I wanted to say how much we've grown over the few years that this channel has been open. And thank you for accepting it. Thank you for commenting. And today, I really want your comments. Why? Because you will see. I'm not even going to ruin it. But as you know, I've been going through a transition, and the transition is this, is that, um, hey, I'm changing. Artists change because they grow, and artists should always grow. Growth is part of our process. If we say the same as we've always been, we're never going to develop into the artist that you want to be. It's plain and simple. So I want you to remember that when that urge comes within your gut. And you know what? Your gut is always right. It's always right. So listen to it. Trust it. Trust is my word this year, as I think you know. So I've been working on that, trusting the gut that says, yeah, that's something not right there. I wonder what it is. It's kind of like signing up for a course or signing up for something, coaching or anything. Whenever I did that, and I, and I still have a coach, but whenever I did that, I would always feel very nervous and very excited at the same time. And in my gut, that's when I knew that it was good for me. And in your gut, you will know when a painting isn't working. It's just part of the process. You will know it. So I'm going to show you this painting that is was a good painting. Galleries wanted it. They thought it was good. People loved it. They commented on it. I didn't. I liked it, but it lacked something. What was it? I worked on it again and again and again, trying to put that, quote, something into the painting. I didn't succeed. So even though it was a good painting, I never shipped it. Because I kept looking at it, kept looking at it and saying, what is it that I can do to make this painting better? And then one night, I go into the studio about eight o'clock and I look at this painting and I say, girl, you're going to change. And change she did. Now this is where you come in because I want to know what you think of this. Does it have more energy? Is it bolder? Is it something that you think is more exciting than the original version. Because your comments mean a lot to me. And I think we all learn from each other by the comments and by observing. Here we are on my uh, uh, canvas. It's about a 30 by 30 and it's put on with white chalk. And by the way, it's stained with uh, the sludge left over from my oil paints. And that's something you can do too. So this is the design and now I'm starting to paint, uh, which is a lot of fun because the fun part is at the beginning. But this is the stage that I kind of loved and said, oh, I wish I could just stop here because to me it's fresh and wonderful. But of course, I kept going, but I still love this one. Then I developed the flowers, uh, the big flowers, trying to get the big flower going. Of course, I add more white because the flowers are going to be white. Tried to connect them underneath the flowers. Uh, this is where I've added some color to the background on the lower left. And now I am beginning to add some greenery in and develop the background a little bit. Now I decide, okay, let's see if my values are good. 
So I put it, and I have a Mac, so I put it in uh, the iPhoto and put it on black and white. And I do that a lot. It's important. So now I'm really working on the flowers, trying to get this to work together. And uh, I just, I'm having some trouble, having trouble figuring out where to put another flower if that's what I want. Then I have lots and lots of drips, really strengthen the underpainting, the background, put it back into my um, black and white. And then here I am with the final picture and I don't like it. I do like some of the things of this. I particularly love the little flower, the little, yeah, the little flower in the lower portion because of the colors, the variations, the, oh, I just love it. It's just fresh and clean. But here, as they say, here is the final version of that. And I just, it never stuck with me. I couldn't grab it. So guess what? I go in and I say, I'm going to play with this. I'm going to just have a good time. And that's what I do. Then I go in and I add more, more color, more, more enthusiasm. I am really on a roll. And then I do this. I add blue and, um, <coughs> excuse me. And I add the blue and all of a sudden I realize I have a circle. I have a friggin' circle and I am back to where I was. That's not fair. Well, as you can see, I ended up in the same place that I was. That's not where I wanted to be. Oh, I didn't look the same, but to me, it was the same strokes. It was the same format, and I ended up in a circle. Not what I wanted, and I knew it, and that is what <clears throat> really got me. I thought, what am I going to do? to make this different. And I thought, you're going to have to just do something totally different. You did it on one of your abstracts in one of my other videos. Why not a floral? So that's what I did. Went in one night, about 8 o'clock, looked at the painting, had a glass of wine, and I said, screw it. I'm going to just go for this. I'm going to make this painting have more energy because that's what's wrong with the other painting. It had no energy, in my opinion. And you know what? I'm the one that counts. So I pulled out my little squeegee. I pulled out a big brush. I squeezed out, out the oil paint, and I went to town. And this is what happened. Now, I want you to tell me now, remember, this is not done. This is not finished. But I want you to tell me, does it have more energy? Is it bolder? Is it something that excites you instead of being, oh, that's a nice painting. I don't want nice paintings. I want exciting paintings. Remember, use bold strokes. So let me know. Every day like you mean. And don't forget who you are yeah, yeah. You're free to go ahead